Alternate unit of item. This presentation will give you an overview on using alternate unit of item feature in PC. Alternate unit refers to any subunit of the main unit. If you want to maintain two or more units with an item, then you can enable the feature of alternate unit of items. Basically, alternate unit that is subunit and main unit have some conversion factors with them or have some connections with them. Like one kg is equal to this much number of pieces. If we take example of utensils, then you can sell utensils and pieces or as per cages. That is, if we take example of steel plates, then we can sell them as per per piece or total weight of steel in kgs. If you want to sell and purchase items in main or alternate unit, then you can enable this feature. An important point to note here is that if you maintain units like pieces and boxes or pieces and cartons, then you can enable the packaging units of items feature in busy. If you maintain combinations like pieces and kgs or pieces and liters, then you need to enable the alternate unit of items feature in busy. To enable this feature, click Administration, Configuration, Features Options, Inventory tab. In the tab, enable the option of Alternate Units of Items. Here you can see on the screen that it is specially mentioned that use this feature if you are using units like pieces and kgs or pieces and liters. Above this option, another option, Packaging Unit of Items also appears in which it is clearly mentioned that packaging units should be used only in cases of pieces in box and pieces in cartons. On enabling this feature, an option for alternate unit of items window appears in which you can configure options related to alternate unit. First, you need to enable the option of hide alternate unit details in voucher if you do not want to view alternate details window in the voucher. Next is allow quantity change in vouchers if you want to change alternate quantity if you want to specify the quantity other than the combination as specified in item master then you can enable this option next is input conversion factor in voucher that is if you want to enter conversion factor in vouchers also then you can enable this option apart from this you can specify the alternate unit quantity decimal places click save button to save the configuration next we will create an item master here we have created an item master named Jagat Basmati Rice. Specify its main unit and alternate unit. Here we are taking main unit as bags and alternate unit as cages. We are specifying the conversion factors as 10 and conversion type is cages per bags, which shows that one bag contains 10 cages of rice. Sale price to be applied on and purchase price to be applied on. Please specify that sale price is to be applied on main unit, alternate unit or both the units and similarly purchase price to be applied on alternate main or both the units. For sale price we are taking main unit and for purchase price we are taking alternate unit. You can view on the screen that in front of sale price bags is written and in front of purchase price cages is written that is sale price is will be taken for per bag and purchase price is specified for per kg. Here we have specified 980 per bag and 90 rupees per kg as prices. Click save button to save the item master. Next we will enter a purchase voucher. Enter details related to the header of the purchase voucher. Select item. Here we have selected the item as Jagat Basmati rice and have specified 10 bags of rice have been purchased. On pressing enter key on the unit field a quantity in alternate unit window appears in which the conversion factor is automatically being picked from item master quantity in alternate unit that is kgs is 100 which specifies that 10 bags is equal to 100 kgs specify the purchase price here the purchase price is appearing as 900 per bag because we have specified 90 rupees per kg as price in item master click save button to save the purchase voucher Next, we will enter a sales voucher. Enter details related to the header of the sales voucher. Select the item. Here we have selected the item as Jagat Basmati Rice and have sold one bag of Jagat Basmati Rice. On pressing the enter key on unit field, a quantity in alternate unit window appeared in which the conversion factor is shown as 10. That means although we have sold one bag, the quantity in kgs is 10. That is one bag contains 10 kgs of rice. Here we have specified the sale price is 1000 rupees. You can change the sale price and purchase price in the vouchers and can similarly change the conversion factor in vouchers also. Click save button to save the voucher. Now busy have asked for printing of the voucher. Here we are printing the invoice in the standard format. 
busy has shown this message box that standard format is not yet configured do you want to configure it now on specifying yes in this message box you can configure the standard invoice as per your requirement here we have clicked the self configured option in the self configured option you can configure details of items to be printed in the invoice now let us have a look at the preview here the preview is showing the quantity in main unit and quantity in alternate unit along with the price next we will have a look at the reports for this we will go to display stock status closing stock alphabetical balances only for one item here we have selected the item is jagat basmati rice report to be shown in that is you want to view the report in main unit alternate unit or both the units here we have selected the both units option now you can see on the screen that report is showing the quantity or the stock status in both the unit that is kgs and pieces hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use alternate unit of items feature in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel